I'm Sabina Yascott Gill. I'm one of the photography curators here at the gallery and the curator of this show, but I was also lucky enough to be on the panel of judges for the prize this year as well. That's incredible. So what was it like judging? Because I know that you said that there was you have photo as well as digital, so print and digital. Well, no, so for the first time this year, we've introduced a digital, a preliminary digital sift, and that's because we receive a large amount of entries. And we wanted to give, uh, we're really proud of the fact that we still judge from the physical print, and we're one of the only competitions to do so. And we wanted to retain the element, but at the same time give each photographer uh, enough time to, to do their work justice in the judging. So we've introduced a preliminary digital round, and then all the works that you see around us were judged from physical prints uh, in the final rounds of judging. And so there's photos from 66 different countries, I think you mentioned. Yeah, it's a really international competition. We're really proud of that. Uh, we receive entries from all over the world. And actually, as you look around the show, uh, you can really get a flavour of the international uh, character of the portraits. Would you say that's what makes this award unique? Oh, I think there are many things that make the award unique. The fact that um, it is judged, uh, judged from physical prints, the fact that it has got such a great international reputation, and also the fact that you get a show in the National Portrait Gallery uh, for three months, it's really quite wonderful and unique to the prize. And obviously it must have been incredibly difficult to narrow down all the options into, <laughs> into photos. What made you really think what picture was, was best, you know? Gosh, I guess I get asked this so much, and uh, there's no kind of magical formula. Uh, even before just observing the judging process, it really depends on the mix of judges, their interests, their tastes, and it varies year on year. So it's very difficult to kind of give you a magic recipe. Uh, I have to say, uh, for us this year, we really looked for something that was very compelling, that was memorable, that really stayed with us in our minds, and that really transmitted. I mean, it seems that the portraits that we've chosen as prize winners really transmit a kind of really deep m emotional kind of content, and also. They seem quite topical this year relating to things that are in the news uh, and the media. Yeah. Is there a certain photograph that stands out to you? Oh gosh, I have a secret favourite, which is uh, uh, the the dog head behind me. But no, I think uh, they're all they're all really beautiful portraits, and we really do during the judging process have to narrow it down. We had five thousand seven hundred and seventeen entries this year, and we only have fifty nine portraits uh, in the space. So it really is a hard process to kind of uh, to, to 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 bring them all together. And actually, we do have to let go to some portraits that we really wanted to have in the show. Uh, but it is a it's a jury, it's a panel. We have have to, uh, to agree on the final uh, 59 portraits that we have here and also on the winners so it's a kind of give and take and it's always really interesting to hear the debates that happen uh, around the judging as well. And could you talk to me about the artist in focus is Todd Hedo so why did you pick him? Yeah, so Todd Heido, uh, this is the third time that we've had an in-focus artist. Uh, before that we had Christina de Modell and before that Peter Hugo. And the idea is that we as a gallery choose someone who we think is doing something really interesting with portraiture. Uh, and Todd Heido is a really interesting choice because he's not known for portraits. He's much better known for photographing the American uh, suburban landscape, quite kind of eerie, atmospheric portraits. Uh, and so this work was interesting because it's kind of departure into much more kind of formal, studied studio portraiture. Uh, so we, it's nice to have some new work that hasn't been seen before by an internationally regarded artist. Um, and these works are very interesting. They're, they're taken in this uh, San Francisco studio. They're very kind of carefully posed. He works with a whole team of stylists, uh, makeup artists, hairdressers to create different characters and different poses. Uh, and we thought it was really interesting to show those works alongside some of uh, these portraits in the exhibition. Wonderful. Well, thank